Today, Sylvie and I are in the East Hertfordshire village of Braffing, which was once an important Iron Age settlement and then a Roman town. A famous story associated with Braffing is that of farmer Matthew Wall, who died suddenly in October 1571. As his funeral procession proceeded down the rather steep fleece lane on its way to the church, a pallbearer slipped on wet leaves. The coffin crashed to the ground. Mourners were shocked to hear banging coming from the inside of the coffin. And when it was opened, up sat Matthew Wall, who seemed absolutely horrified that he was being taken to his own funeral. But it seems that he was in a coma due to an epileptic seizure. And the event is still celebrated to this day. We're heading out of the village in an easterly direction along a lane known as the Causeway towards our next destination, which is the village of Furnix Pelham. After a couple of miles we turn off the lane and take the footpath towards an area known as Rotten Row. Rotten Row is little more than just a farmhouse and we continue walking past along the trackway. Not long after we pass Rotten Row we come across something of an oddity. 
Over to the left we can see a strange hut on the edge of the arable field. This hut is actually the old Phoenix Pelham Cricket Pavilion. The cricket club fell into disuse several years ago and the pitch reverted back to arable farmland. When we look inside the pavilion it seems as if it had only been used a week or so ago. But maybe they're hoping it will come back into use someday, who knows? Well, Sylvia and I take a seat and stop for a rest here. After a few minutes rest, we continue our walk. We take a footpath along the edge of the wood and this brings us onto a large open field. The footpath runs directly across this field and it's usually clearly defined. But as the harvest has just taken place, the field has been harrowed, making the walk across rather awkward. But as we get closer to the other side, we see something truly amazing. A magnificent sculpture of a horse, and it's made entirely out of pieces of dead wood. The path takes us to a gate that's hidden in a recess in the hedgerow and as we enter the meadow on the other side we soon discover that we're not alone. Well it seems this guardian of the meadow isn't going to let us pass without a treat. Hey, look, oh, uh, yeah you've got apples for you. Oh well, see you later. Well, with half our lunch gone to the toll gate keeper, we head off into the village.
Phoenix Pelham is only a small village, but it's split up into three areas, and we're heading down the hill to a part known as Barleycroft End. And it's here we find a pub. <laughs> the Brewer's Tap is a very popular and busy pub, and we were very lucky to get a seat in the beer garden. This was also a good opportunity to check the Ordnance Survey map and plot the course for the next step of our walk. Well, after an enjoyable pint, we set off for the next destination, which is Patmore Heath. About one and a half miles down the lane, we come to the parish of Albury. And it's here we come to another very popular pub, the Catherine Wheel. But we're not stopping here today, we're going to take a left turn by the pub and head up the lane. At the top of this lane we come to Patmore Heath and it's a large area of heathland which is now a conservation area. A narrow lane runs around the edge of the heath for about a mile and the heath is also encircled by lots of idyllic houses and cottages.
Eventually we arrive back at the start of the lane and begin our walk back to Braffing. As we leave Albury Parish, we turn off the road and head across country on a route that I plotted back at the pub. This is a pleasant route that takes us across several miles of open fields and woodland. And the path eventually brings us back onto the causeway. Fortunately the route from here is mostly downhill and it's not long before we can see Braffing nestling in the valley below. Well the walk has lasted us about 5 hours and covered almost 11 miles and it's certainly been very enjoyable. 